just gonna DQ myself, right? He's someone that's gonna fight. Baby, come back. Do do do. <laughs> Thank you for the ad lib, Jay. I appreciate it. You can put it all on me. Well, let's see who puts all of these buttons on their opponent. And I'm gonna go for ahead and say icy Whoa. chains, but uh, okay, well, you be big whiffing. Gonna get those two two B lethal hits coming in from Joe. The as well special. Shades of Sane throwing out a random move immediately to a uh, eight-way run lethal hit. Yep, and Aswell's is so good. It's a vertical, but uh, it's essentially a horizontal that's a uh, plus on block. Yeah. Remember when I used to have a ton of whiffing issues? I missed that. Yeah, it was nice. Ooh, so such brilliance. Yeah, and he is not afraid to go for the what? Such brilliance, but he is afraid to go for game winning <laughs> with punish. <laughs> you know what? That's just extra mental damage, yeah. Like that that's all that was. He's just Yo. trying to build an extra meter to get the soul charge. I like the fact that um what Icy Chains has decided to do when it comes to the opening gambit is to run his face into Aswell's weapon. It, yeah, right there. You know, run yeah. his face right into that sword art and Right, gonna hit him with the lethal hit. Why quacking? Man, Joe has not had a hard time mixing people this tournament. And I think he just got Ixian, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. And wow. He might not even need it. No, he might not. The Wall Rising BB gonna close the game out. And that's the third time that uh, that Joe has gone for sword A at the very beginning, and the third time that uh No way. Okay. No, oh my wow. That was a Got solid it. read. He waited for that the whole time, so uh, I respect that. That was absolutely sick from Joe. Oh! <laughs> That's actually a pretty classic way of trying to deal with um, grow in Soul Charge is... Uh, God, I'm not even going to be able to explain stuff in time. Um, that is a very classic way of dealing with grow Soul Charge stuff, is that if you have a move that can kind of either autocorrect, which is what I think joe was potentially banking on with that ce had he gone for another option of like teleporting or if you have a move that you know uh as well has that's going to hit everywhere is that you have a pretty solid way of keeping grow from teleporting anywhere yeah uh and we we saw there the the 66a plus b beyblade from as well when he crosses up he'll actually go the other direction to either his benefit or his bane uh, we've seen it multiple times where you'll, you'll see a situation like that where it'll turn back around and hit his opponent. But I've seen it also where people will do it when their opponent's on the ground and then he'll cross them up and then go back the other way and ring himself out. Yeah, it's 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 honestly not that crazy of a situation. It is kind of move that you can willingly rely on autocorrecting in that you know pretty specific kind of situation. Yes. Okay, so it looks like... With that win, um, he was... Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say that he had finally gotten Icy Chains to calm down, and then Icy Chains shut me right the hell up by sprinting at his opponent for 13 years. That's yeah, a really solid punish on that uh, Axelot battle. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, okay, nice. Oh, and why, why are you mashing? Yeah, don't be mashing. Yeah, arguably not something that uh, Joe wants to deal with when it comes to the stage. A relatively smaller stage where he actually has to deal with ringouts now. And uh, yeah, so it looks like that's exactly what Icy Chains wants, is to try and abuse the fact that Joe is uh, pressing buttons at pretty um, uh, suspicious times, let's say. Yeah, we're getting the wall rising A into the Axe Low. This is what Joe likes to go for. Now, what stance is he going to go into after this? Stays in Axe and wow! Now that makes sense because you're dealing with Icy Chains and you know what kind of stuff he's going to try and pull off. Yeah, I like how like Icy tried to mash, the, I think he tried to mash like a 66A or something. But it was 66A uh, and then the second time it was 66B. Yeah, so the, uh, the the wake up, like the back turn while rising A from Joe was able to just cleave him right out of it. But now going with the soul attack, it's going to be big plus frames, forces the soul charge out. Both his characters Which is totally fine out. for Icy Chains. He'd be willing to sacrifice this bar for Azul's bar any day. Yes, he would, and Joe trying to press buttons again. Ooh. Oh, he's got the... No, he doesn't. Never mind. Gro has to deal with a guard break. He doesn't necessarily have the... 2A. Yeah, okay. yeah, and there is that 3A plus B, that new low that he has from standing. It's a really great round under. And it's, you know, it's for, for a low. It's pretty good. I can't 100% remember... If Azul had a weapon, if at all, by the time that two way had happened, but it definitely seemed like Joe had frozen up. Now again, if he didn't have a weapon, I'm freezing up. But also, I think he just needed to try and come up. So I feel like what Joe was 
kind of worried about was the 66A uh, potentially coming out. And so he wanted to try and come up with something that was going to, one, guard break, two, still beat 66A, and three, potentially beat out um, like a, a crouch as well. And uh, he just couldn't come up with the move in time. And he was able to, uh, Icy Chains was able to take the opportunity for the hesitation. Yeah, it definitely was. Now we got the Unga Bunga Chains. It immediately starting to go with the 6A plus B going to hit uh, Joe out of the air. And classic Icy Chain just going to be mashing all these evasive buttons and just getting himself out of dodge. I mean, at this point, it seems like one of the things that Icy Chain... That Joe is not respecting strings, like at all. It seems no. like uh, over and over again, stance strings, traditional strings, Joe has decided to press buttons in between all of them. And that's definitely what ended up giving Icy Chains the second game. Definitely did. Okay, nice. Gets the back turn A. Okay, so it looks like it's just a matter of trying to keep Icy Chains out. So both of these players are relying on the other propensity to mash. Um, so it's going to be a matter of who can hit harder. Aswell can certainly hit more often, but depending on what he's hitting with, Gro can certainly hit a lot harder. And that's the second time he's gone for that option versus that stance pressure from Icy Chains. So I wonder if there's a, a counterplay that Icy can do. Oh, tries to cut the run-up slide, but back turn people's K into huge damage. Gonna have the wall pressure here. Gotta guess correctly. And there we I like the soul charge from Joe to negate this pressure. <laughs> but uh, the classic. Okay, so I appreciate the fact that you talked about counterplay. But uh, I don't think we're gonna see any of that. <laughs> I don't think this is a match about counterplay. Uh... I think this is a match. Uh, I think this is a dog fight. This is a match of two bulldogs shoving each other's faces into their face. I have this. What this is about? We're just you know we're just running into each other's face, and we're and both players are panicking when the other person has the uh, the momentum. Just like yes. whatever I could, nice block, fantastic punish. That is one thing that Icy Chains has definitely been able to pull off time and time again. Is uh, getting those fantastic punishes on the Axlos. Yes. <laughs> Ducking into the three B lead. Uh, vintage six B weight mix up yeah it's so powerful especially when he's in uh, almighty right because he can mix it up in multiple different ways great 3b coming out from icy chain is going to get this whole attack plus frames and yeah, he's, see, he, him pressing buttons. Yeah, he's constantly pressing buttons he's even pressing buttons when he is crouched in back turn why I, <laughs> that one ak we always know it's going to be coming out when chance has the possibility of losing because <laughs> it is it's the it's the final bullet oh that's the, the grow that, that that is the straight up grow that is launcher unsafe by the way that is not if you block that get off me move from as you get to do whatever you yes okay nice going in with the pressure again soul charge from joe powered up in the state but there's the <laughs> teleport behind with the 66a and the soul attack plus frames come through again so much guard damage oh well they're just throwing these haymakers, dude. Oh One AK, dude. God, again. Of course. Isaac James knows where we are. He wants to try and kill Joe so so quickly right now. He, he wanted does. to wait until he got that bar, and he's not gonna use it for some reason. Okay. And then he okay. <laughs> the single well, B. 